so our beautiful Saturday. Oh, it's so great. Laundry and then silly owls all in quartzite. It's an amazing town. Stack it deep and sell it cheap. Let's go. You're in the shot. What's up, guys? Yeah. What is going on, guys? Today is a new day, and we are doing new activities. Uh, so tomorrow is Sunday, and tomorrow is a travel day. I don't know why I'm holding a glue stick. Anyways, tomorrow is a travel day. We are still in Quartzsite, Arizona. Blue is barking. He loves to bark whenever we film. And tomorrow we are going down to Yuma to do some more boondocking. So today we're gonna get errands done just because of convenience. So you guys are coming along on an errand day. Yay! There's really not much else to do in Quartzsite. Yeah, Quartzsite is kind of great for meeting up in large groups, but at the same time, it is uh, not great for activities. It's good for running errands. So we're gonna do a bunch of that. So we hope you guys enjoy this video and uh, we're gonna show you some cool stuff today. It's yeah. gonna be real exciting. <laughs> And if you are new to our channel by chance, I'm Melissa. This is Jesse. We are Adventure Endeavor. See you later. Be a good boy. Samboni loves laundry day because she gets to snuggle up on the biggest pile of blankets ever. You know we love our grand design. We really love this nice closet that Melissa has for all of her stuff to keep it super organized. Do you want to show how you save all of your receipts for your taxes? Oh, I already showed that in our last video. Oh, okay. Great. We have talked about it before. Quartzsite is such an interesting place. We, I've been out here for, I think like a week, a little over a week, like a day over a week. We were here for the rally, Grand Design Rally. We stayed, some friends were doing um, solar install, so we were kind of helping them, kind of hanging out, working. It's time to go. Yeah, you can only stay here for so long. It's a great place, like Jesse said, for like meeting up with larger groups of people. And you know, it's really cheap, really inexpensive. There's no temptation to spend much money because there's nothing to do here. Yeah. Go into the laundry map, singing the laundry song. Last low is 6.30. Last low is 6.30. Oh, these clothes stink. This is how you do it. This is how it's done. So we got these laundry detergent strips uh, a while back. You can tell that the packaging has been well the packaging loved. Packaging is is not nice. Um, but they're super lightweight, they save a ton of space, and they're great for RVing in particular. And the thing is, is that they last for such a long time, that's why the box is destroyed. You just use one, and you just do it the same way you do laundry. You just put one in with your clothes, and you just wash it, and then that's it. So, one of these strips is a load of laundry. I like them because they take way less space, yeah. and they're just compact and it's easy and it, they're not heavy as well. So you're not having weight in your rig and then like, when you're carrying it into the laundry mat, it's just more lightweight. It's basically dehydrated, compressed laundry detergent and you can rip these strips in half. They're smaller They're loads. perforated for small loads. Just, you know, just these fun things, you know. This is just life. This is RV life right here. Laundry mat, babe, you normally don't come and do laundry with me. Is standard i mean it wasn't like super gross or sketchy or anything great way to spend your saturday 
I like the, uh, you know, that gentle hum of the washers and dryers. It just, it's really relaxing. It's a very zen environment. Salad were good. I mean, I'm I, I never have too high of expectations when going out to eat in Portsite. <laughs> that said, it was quite good. Um, oh, you know, man. so it's just one of those places, and we're in the middle of nowhere. Like you don't expect the food to be all that great, but it was. Good. Yeah, big salad. I mean, it wasn't amazing, but it wasn't bad. Uh, I've been here before, Melissa has not, and I'm pretty sure the menu said if you haven't been to Silly Owls, you haven't been to Quartzsite. So, <laughs> there. Been there. Guess it's a thing you gotta Done do. It. They do have a pretty big menu, obviously, lots of different types of pizzas. And the pizza's good, from what I've heard. We don't eat pizza, but that's what I've heard. Now, we are at the Quartzsite Swap Meet, and they have all sorts of ridiculous things here. What we're actually looking for is a couple short garden hoses and different attachments because we recently purchased a used water bladder from our friends, which we're going to show you guys because it's freaking sweet, and I want to make sure we have all the right fittings before we go fill it right now. Hey babe, is this where I got my chili for the cook-off? Oh gross, that's gross, that's gross. That's where I got my chili for the cook-off guys. Slightly expired some slightly expired mayonnaise guys. Okay, so we finally got ourselves a water bladder. Right here, it's made out of like heavy duty material. I don't know what it's called, but it's the same thing that uh, like whitewater rafts are made out of. And we had to go buy an adapter to get it to adapt because I haven't figured out all the fittings in my full setup yet, but this is gonna be a game changer because this thing is a 95 gallon bladder. So we're gonna be able to do two fills into our rig and that makes a lot of sense because obviously we're gonna have the baby, we're gonna be doing like potentially washing dirty clothes and whatnot. We drank a ton of water, the dogs drink a ton of water and now that we have a composting toilet, we're uh, you know saving a lot of room. So we eventually plan on combining all of our tanks to gain extra room in our tanks. So. This is awesome. We are stoked. It's heavy duty, so we don't have to worry about it breaking, hopefully, in the bed of the truck. Also, this is a great place in Quartzsite to stop. Sorry guys, the lighting's probably pretty bad. RV pit stop. Great place to stop for dumping water, uh, dumping your sewer and gray, uh, filling water, and filling up propane. Yeah, it's very convenient. It's a nice little pit stop. It is a pit stop. We hope you guys enjoyed our average day in Quartzsite. It's windy as heck today, and we were like, well, we could just sit in our rig all day, or we could do errands and sit in the truck, kind of, sort of, and do stuff that we need to do anyways. We sat in the laundromat, we sat in Silly Owls, not that we needed to go there, but it was cool, and it was silly. We almost got some items at the discount grocery. I, got, I was gonna get some tissues and some slightly past their sell-by date uh, electrolyte waters. But turns out it's cash only, so we came yeah. up empty handed on that one. That was a bummer. We need to carry cash more, and we don't really bad at that. We're super stoked on the bladder. We wanted to show you guys that because a lot of people are like, How do you shower? How do you drink? How do you do dishes? Blah, 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 blah. Well, a bladder is a big key. We haven't had one. We've been very, very water conscious, so we still will be water conscious because now our tanks are our limiting factor. But the tanks, because we do have two gray tanks, 
um, and then eventually we want to combine all three of them so they equalize and we'll have even more capacity so then that that bladder is really going to come in handy that water bladder that we got is apparently what three hundred dollars brand new we bought it secondhand from a friend that didn't need it anymore um, so it's used it's a little rough but it gets the job done oh i was gonna say also that we still do have our Lippert pressure washer as well and we can wash our truck and our trailer more often with this bladder pretty sure we could hook the pressure hose right up to the bladder um, whenever we're out boondocking when we wash our vehicles we wash them with water only and we just scrub them just so y'all know we ain't dumping no chemicals on the ground we ain't about that yeah just get some of the loose dirt and the bug guts off of everything yeah it just makes everything look a lot better but like always thanks for watching y'all we hope you enjoyed this super casual video of us in quartzite arizona doing casual things in a casual town it's very casual catch you on the next one Very ghetto setup. This is, uh, yeah, this is really interesting, dear. I like what but you got works, going on here. But it works. So here's the thing. I'm here's the it. thing. This used to be a shake hose. So what I used to do is I would set our eight gallon jug on the tailgate. You put the hose in there, you shake it, and then it just starts to siphon and it puts the water in here. But what happened was my shake hose broke and I didn't have the right fittings to adapt everything correctly. This was meant to be temporary. This is one of those temporary things that turned into a permanent solution. But I'm gonna fix it. Now that we got the bladder, I'm gonna fix it. This pump was never intended to be a pump for doing this. This was a spare pump for our old carbon toy hauler. It was a cheap insurance. I was like, oh, I'll just have it. What I did was I adapted it. This is the cord for our Green Mountain Grill pellet smoker. And then I use these. And then here's the deal, look at this. This is super ghetto, I know, I know. Not correct, because these are the wrong sizes. So I had to make it work, I had to make it work. But now that we got the big dog, I'm gonna get it all dialed in, I'm gonna do it correctly. So maybe we'll make a whole separate video on doing a nice, cool system. I think what I wanna do is I wanna mount this pump somewhere in the RAM with a quick connect and a quick connect. So then it's just like super easy switch in the ram. I don't know. I haven't decided yet.